Well, to be honest, I've never had a job. I left school at 16 because sitting at a desk just wasn't my kind of thing. I couldn't wait to get out there and start work. Only problem was I didn't have any qualifications and there weren't any jobs. Can't believe how stupid I was, really. <laughs> I just messed around for a couple of years. But the one thing that did interest me was cars. I used to hang around down the local garage and the owner showed me some basic mechanics. Uh, I took to it straight away, but he couldn't give me a job because I didn't have maths and English. It was the same everywhere I went. No qualifications, no job or training. Then I got given a personal advisor on this new NEETS programme. Uh, this guy, Martin, helped me take things one step at a time. Before starting back into education, we looked at why it went wrong in the first place. I started to take a bit of responsibility for myself and get the help I needed. So here I am two years later with the qualifications I never got at school and an apprenticeship in a car factory. I've never wanted anything so much in my life. There were only 12 places and hundreds of young guys and girls applied. It's been tough, but I know how lucky I am to get a second chance. It's going to be great. I'll be learning in a really practical way to get a good grounding in the industry. I am not going to mess it up this time. Then, what I'd really like to do is carry on my training in Germany. They do a lot with apprenticeships over there, and they make the best cars in the world, of course. No one ever thinks of Canada as an unemployment black spot, but things are pretty tough here right now. I've been out of university for almost two years, and I've lost count of the number of applications I've filled in. Half the time, you don't even get a reply. And I stopped looking for things in my subject area, journalism and economics, a long time ago. Sure, I've had part-time jobs, waitressing, um, hotel reception work, the usual thing, but it's such a waste of my skills. Sometimes I just feel like I'm going around in circles. I don't have the relevant experience, so I can't get a job. But without getting my foot in the door, how do I get the experience I need? The closest I got to my dream was an internship for a local newspaper. I was happy to take the tiny salary they offered and was all set to start when, can you believe it, they found someone who was willing to work for nothing. So, all those exams and three years at university to be an unpaid slave. I found that so offensive. Then I started to think a bit more creatively about how I could spend the next year. If Canada couldn't offer me anything, where could? I looked into volunteering programs outside Canada. I figured I might as well be out there taking a risk and doing something worthwhile. So, I'm going to Malawi next month to work on a literacy program, mainly with children. It'll be hard being a long way from home and in a strange place, but I'm going to try and do some reporting on the situation there. Uh, who knows? It might just prove to a newspaper editor that I'm the journalist for the job. When I told my friends that I was going to leave Athens to do a course in farming, they couldn't quite believe it. You see, I'd spent a lot of time and my parents' money getting a business degree and trying to improve my English. Anyway, after leaving a university... I had no proper full-time job, just part-time contracts, and so I got nearly nothing in unemployment benefit. And after a year, the benefit stopped, so that was when I knew I had to make a decision. I thought about a master's, but unemployment has doubled among postgraduates in Greece. So what would be the point of more academic qualifications? The other option was to go abroad. But half of Europe is in the same situation, and I don't want to leave my family because of the financial crisis. So, it's going to be farming for me. You could say that it's in the blood, because my grandfather was a farmer, 
and I'll be taking on a farm on land that the family still owns. But first, I'm doing a course at the American Farm School in Thessaloniki. This is a growing trend, apparently. Applications are up by more than 100%. In the long term, I want to produce the best that Greece has to offer. Excellent lamb, cheese and honey. And maybe look into ecotourism with farm stays. <laughs> Things like that. You see, <laughs> I'll need my business head to make it all work. It feels strange to say I'm going to be a farmer... And my mother is a bit disappointed. She put up with a lot to make sure I had a good education. But I'm trying to see it as an opportunity. And I want to make it a success so that I can pay my parents back for their support. <laughs>